Chondroblastomas are rare, benign bone tumours accounting for less than 1% of bone tumours. They arise most frequently in the distal femur, proximal tibia and humerus, and also the calcaneus, talus and patella. They affect the epiphyses and apophyses before the cartilage disappears in developing bones and arise below the age of 20 in most cases and they occur approximately twice as frequently in males than females. In older patients they tend to arise in the ribs and most chondroblastomas are associated with the K36M gene mutation. On x-ray, chondroblastomas are well circumscribed lytic lesions with a sclerotic border. And the typical gross appearance is of a white, firm tumour with occasional cysts. Histologically, chondroblastomas are comprised of chondroblasts with oval nuclei, a longitudinal groove, distinct membranes and eosinophilic cytoplasm. Mitoses are rare and a feature that is particularly useful in diagnosing chondroblastomas is the presence of chicken wire pericellular calcification that may be seen in degenerate areas of the tumour. In addition there are scattered osteoclast-like giant cells and areas of chondroid differentiation is present. This is the histological appearance of a chondroblastoma at low power and as we move towards the periphery of the tumour you can see how well circumscribed the lesion is. On higher magnification the numerous osteoclast-like giant cells can be appreciated. And in this part of the tumour, as well as the giant cells, you can see that there is some chondroid differentiation. The chondroblasts also show pink staining or eosinophilic cytoplasm, and also the cell membranes are really quite distinct. And on even higher magnification, the nuclear features can be seen with ovoid nuclei and nuclear grooves. And here is a particularly useful diagnostic feature that can be seen in some chondroblastomas, that is the chicken wire type pericellular calcification. And in this part of the tumour there is degeneration of the cells, but the chicken wire type pericellular calcification is really quite obvious.